Is manifestation real? Well, obviously, I don't have the answer to that question, but I find it very unlikely that you're just gonna ask the universe for something and that something would just simply fall on your lap. However, I do believe in the power of our minds. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. And this is where vision boards or dream boards make sense to me. Now, what is a vision board? A vision board is a visual representation of your goals, aspirations, and dreams, often created as a collage of images, words, and symbols. Yes, yes, I know, vision boards are rooted in the concept of manifestation, which is the practice of imagining your goals as already achieved to manifest them into reality, but it can also serve as a source of inspiration and motivation, so it helps you staying focused on your desired outcomes. It's basically a mood board for your life. Vision boards are not a new concept, okay? Before this, before computers were around, people used to cut out images from old magazines, books, flyers, brochures, and glue them to boards to visualize the life they wanted. Obviously, you can still do that. It would be a lot of fun, trust me. But if you're looking for something simpler, faster, and easier, you can also use Kittle for your vision boards. So in this video, basically, we're going to be clarifying our goals, our dreams, our ambitions, and keep them on the top of our mind for 2025. Let's start our 2025 full of good intentions, you know, good vibrations, good vibes positive thoughts. I swear I'm not a good vibes guru though. <laughs> I kind of sound like one, but I know that energy and bad thoughts are contagious. I mean, feelings are feelings. You're supposed to feel them, even the bad ones, but let's try to focus on positive energy for next year, okay? I'm starting mine from scratch but you can also choose a template if you find one that speaks to you, that resonates with your design style, your energy, or even your goal, go ahead and edit that template. So for example, this is not really what I'm personally looking for today, but if you're manifesting your dream home, your dream apartment, and this exactly the style you have in mind, you can go and edit the images, the text, make it more personal, edit the colors, and see, you can make vision boards about anything I want not just 2025 goals but if you want to visualize a new home a car a new career a new job a family really whatever you have in mind you are free to create a vision board specifically for that goal I decided to go ahead and gather some elements off camera. I got most of these from Pinterest, but there's some pretty cool kiddo elements you can use that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so I categorized everything I want for 2025. This is like super personal, but I have some broad categories here like career, health, love, self-love, traveling, if that's your thing. So literally just grab an image you want, add to your board and remove the background. It's that simple. So let's try this with this cute illustration. This is from Pinterest, by the way. If you're choosing kiddo elements, you probably won't need to do this, like to remove the background anyways, but you know, hit the remove background button and it's perfect. I also got these letters off of Pinterest, but Kiddo has its own collection of paper letters. Just letting you know, this is totally 100% up to you. You can even like scan your own elements and upload to Kiddo. That would be like super cool, but that's a whole nother thing. I won't be doing that now, but you know, just giving you some craft ideas. If you want, you can be specific on your goals. Let's say you want a specific pair of shoes in 2025. Just go on Pinterest or Google images, whatever. Grab an image of the shoe and add to your vision board. You can choose to be ambitious. You can choose to keep realistic. In conclusion, what you're putting here, it's 100% up to you. I'm not the one who's going to tell you what your goals and ambitions should be for 2025. But make sure you put some manifestation phrases in here. I think that's very important. You can also choose to make your own, you know, this one I'm making right now. Super cute. Before we start, I just want to show you some vision board inspo. So as you see, it is very scrapbooking like very busy, you know, basically design something that you feel comfortable with. But also the idea is to make something based on scrapbooking. So let's properly start this. For the background, I'm adding a grid page because I want that handmade feeling, you know. I'm going to change its colors and lock it because, you know, since it's the background, I don't want it to be moving around. And now that it's locked, we can't start adding things. So I'm going to start this vision board with love. 
2025 needs to be the year of love, love for everyone and in every way, romantic love, self-love, friendship love, family love, just love. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our beloved eraser tool here and erase the background of this element. I'm being very sloppy here, by the way, but that's the point, like sorta. I want it to look like I just ripped off of a old magazine, a book, a flyer. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why does it say good luck? Isn't it supposed to be about love? Well, if you think about it, love is a little bit about luck as well, right? How luck are you to have that person in your life? How luck are you to be loved and love someone? How lucky are you to be yourself? I personally feel very lucky and I want to continue to be lucky in 2025. Pick the good things are coming elements, by the way, in which I didn't remove the background, but I vectorize it. So I'm able to change its color. Uh, there's still some elements left here, but I'm just going to leave these hanging here outside the artboard until I decide what to do with them later. Uh, obviously, we're not going to use all of these elements I collected unless we have like a huge board. That's another thing I need to mention. There's no ratio or size for this, right? There's no correct size for a vision board. You choose. It's up to you. you Want to use it as your phone wallpaper? Go ahead and size it properly. But you do your girl. Moving on to money and opportunities and career. You know, we want love, of course, above all, but we also want money. Money, money, money. Hello, I like money. Yeah, let's make sure we all get that bag in 2025. I'm a content creator, so obviously I grabbed content creation related stuff. But make sure you get some images that are related to your work, to what you do or what you want to do. Keep your mind focused. You got this. Now it's time for some, you know, random stuff that serves for aesthetic purposes. That being said, some of these do have meanings, okay? Like the ocean wave. Well, guess what? I like the beach and it's pretty. By the way, what are some of your goals for 2025? Uh, let's chat a little bit. I'm going to tell you a couple of my goals for next year. I definitely want to make new friends and be more friendly. I don't consider myself an introvert at all, but I can be pretty reserved when it comes to, you know, getting to know people, putting myself out there a little bit more for sure. I also have some career driven goals. I think we can always learn something new. We can always improve our skills. So learning new things about graphic design and content creation are one of my goals. I'm proud of my work. I'm proud of what I do. So I want to keep that positive mindset and attitude towards that in 2025. Because even if I come across as confident, I've been through some pretty hard times, which is normal. I'm human. But regarding my work, I felt like I was not good enough before. I've had terrible, and I still have sometimes, but I've had a terrible imposter syndrome, you know, our little friend imposter syndrome. So it's a mind exercise, you know, you gotta tell to yourself that you're good. Not only that you're good, like you're a good designer, but you're good. You know, you're, you're good. Everything, it's going to be okay. And the day I realized that I am, in fact, a good designer was the day that everything changed for me. It was, it was almost like I stopped living in fear of my own work, of my own creativity. It took me a while to realize that I wasn't bad. I was just a beginner. So I no longer punish myself for a bad design, you know, because I'm human and sometimes I make mistakes. But on the other hand, I'm human. So I'm also able to create amazing, amazing things to creating beautiful things in 2025. And let me know in the comments what are some of your 2025 goals. Last but not least, of course, I added some health and fitness related goals. I started playing tennis this year and I really enjoyed it. It's so much fun. Fortunately, I wasn't able to continue. So that's something I want to do again in 2025. I want to go back to tennis. I want to cycle. I want to run. I want to keep going to the gym. Maybe I want to swim. I love moving and I love exercising. I love sports and I feel like honestly life sucks when I'm not exercising and I'm not moving. <laughs> so that's a really important thing for me some like personal beauty things as well like of course I want my skin glowing I want my hair healthy I want to feel good and feel fit for some extra details just search for its scrapbook on the elements library and you'll find some pretty cool pretty cute clip elements like turret paper some tapes you can even change their color some paper notes you know some sticky notes it's a pretty nice addition to your vision board 
and I think I'm done. That's my vision board. And this was my vision board for 2025. Now it's your turn to make yours for next year. You know, visualize good things, visualize your dreams, your goals, and keep them on the top of your mind. I personally have been doing mood boards for years now, so it's my little end of the year tradition, and I'm really happy to be doing one here with you guys. And I love it. I make them with friends, with family. It's a little cute tradition, and I think it's useful even if you don't believe in manifestation station or the signs of the universe. I mean, you'll be visualizing your goals, you'll be thinking about what you want all the time, and that's going to probably motivate you to go out there and achieve them. So it has a little mystical part to it, a little, you know, magical touch, but it can, I think vision boards can also be very vibrational. So what do you guys think? Are you guys going to be making your mood boards for 2025? Let us know in the comments. I wish you all an amazing 2025 full of good things and that all of your dreams may come true. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to Kittle's channel for more design related stuff. Also, check out our socials, Instagram, TikTok. Happy holidays and see you in 2025. Bye!